Hello again, YouTube. My name is Bree, and before I get started, Happy New Year. It's my first video of 2022, and as I said in my prior video, my goal is to continue to do two videos a month, so every other week or so. And for the first one, I thought I would start with a new sketchbook, something new for the new year. And this sketchbook was given to me by Etcher. They had a contest, an event on Instagram around Christmas, and it was at your artful year. So you showed them a piece you created at the beginning of the year and another one at the end of the year. And then I think it was like something you learned this year. And they were so kind and picked me and gave me this free sketchbook. So I decided to open it up today and I'm actually going to kind of inadvertently follow their prompt list. So they submit, they, they created a prompt list for the month of January and the first one is New Beginnings, I believe. And it kind of aligned with what I wanted to do anyway. So I thought it'd be very fitting. So since I haven't done an unboxing or anything in a while, I thought I would go through the process and show you the sketchbook and then get into the painting. And at the very end of the video, I do have a clip of my kitties playing because I know you guys love Juno and maybe Maggie too. So I gave him some catnip today and decided to include that as well. So this sketchbook is their portrait sketchbook. Um, I've only used their landscape sketchbooks before. These are, they came out last year, but I was already on no buy and I had plenty of sketchbooks. Um, the landscape ones come in the A4, A5, and A6 size. This comes in A5, A6, and B5 size. So it's a little different. And I wanted to compare that B5 size. Maggie says hi, if you could hear her. <laughs> um, I want to compare that B5 against the A5 because it's still a sizable sketchbook, but it's not quite as large. So you should be able to see them side by side by now. And... The problem is with the landscape style sketchbook in the A5, it's just way too big for my workspace. And especially if I'm trying to film, it just, it takes up so much space on my desk. And while I love this sketchbook, it's kind of difficult to work with in my workspace just because of the size. So I'm very excited about this because it is a sizable sketchbook, but it's going to fit in my, on my desk a lot better. So I think at this point we'll be moving into the painting. So like I said, I wanted to do something that kind of felt like a fresh start, a very like a positive, calming, refreshing piece as though, you know, kind of the bring in the new year and hope for something better because it's been, it's been a tough few years. And um, yeah. <laughs> so this year is already off to kind of a weird start, but that's okay. It can definitely get better from here. We're only on day three, day four by the time I actually put this video out. So plenty of time for change, but I decided to start, like I said, this is the Etcher sketchbook. Um, I showed it at the beginning. I don't think I said it. It's cold pressed paper and their paper isn't super textured. So it's I really enjoy their paper. Um, this is the thinner paper, but painting on the front cover is always so nice because it's like working on something that's been really well taped down so it doesn't warp and it's it's always so much fun to paint on the inside cover. So definitely, a, I, didn't, I definitely don't need to start a new sketchbook right now, but <laughs> I was really looking forward to trying out the sketchbook and painting that front cover where everything's just it's so, it's so nice. Unfortunately, I did eventually drip some paint on the opposite page. I considered putting something down to protect it. I'm like, I'll be careful. And I put my arm in paint and then put it on the sketchbook and there's a stain. So I'll have to come up with some way to in incorporate that in the next painting. So yeah, I, I really don't have too much to say about the painting itself. Um, I'm using my Schmincke watercolors, which are the same paints I was using in my prior piece. Um, at, at the end, I do include some of the beam paints in silver. They're silver mica paint, so I really do love that one as well. Um, and it's ethical mica, so bonus points for that. And otherwise, I'm pretty much following my usual process of building up skin with lots and lots of layers. I really like this. I know that 
it takes longer to paint th this way and it's a very slow process and I still could go a lot further pushing the values but I, I just it's really there's something really comforting about it I really use typically four colors uh, yellow ochre Indian throne blue um, pyrrole red scarlet red a uh, uh, warm red and a cool red I think the cool red is carmine and it's just it's such a relaxing experience for me to build up skin tones this way it's meditative it's like you don't have to think too much because you're only working with four colors so it's just mixing those in different varieties and layering and really playing with the glazing effect that watercolor has and it's just a process I really enjoy and something I could do for a really long time without even thinking about it and just it's it's comforting to me so I wanted to start it with a piece that had like both that comforting theme but also that feel as I painted now admittedly I did want to push this painting farther um I had <laughs> as always I go in with much greater ambitions than I end up with and um yeah, so after I painted the skin, I think I probably added a little bit more to the skin later, but I'd done most of the skin um, and the initial base layer on the hair, and then I decided to take a break and go rollerblading, and unfortunately, I fell. So I'm fine. I'm like bruised and sore and scraped up. I mean, nothing I won't recover from given a little bit of time, but... It made sitting for the rest of the painting uncomfortable. Luckily, I guess I fell on my left side, but even just holding the sketchbook because my shoulder is sore, my hand hurts, my knee and hip, so just sitting was not the most comfortable thing. So I didn't spend as much time finishing this up as I wanted to. Um, I have been pretty lazy in the way I paint hair recently, and I definitely want to work on that some more this year. Um, and I don't say this year as like, this is one of my goals. It's just something that I've been progressing towards and I know I need to work on more. So I really wanted to start to push that here and it really didn't happen. And it's just because I didn't have the capacity. <laughs> so it's fine. Things happen. Plans change and we adapt. And I'm just really happy I was able to complete something and have something to put out today. So I can't complain too much and I'll get over the rest. It's just just skin it heals it'll be fine and then for my next video actually for my next video i already have a plan but i'll get back to that later um but yeah it's something i have i guess the rest of time technically to work on but it, it hair is definitely something hair and clothes both are something i really should be focusing on a lot more soon because i've just been really lazy about both i love painting skin but it is something that I didn't get right away. So hair has always been a little frustrating for me. And I just know I need to put in that time and that mileage and I'll get there. So future plans, I have some. And on that topic, I did want to recap some of my goals. So in the last video, I talked about how I did with my goals from 2021 and some of my goals for 2022. And I'm not going to recap all of those, but I did finished planning so I know what I want to do and these are very kind of nebulous <laughs> I mean they're not concrete goals I'm not trying to sit down and control the way I work because I definitely want to do what makes me happy and not try to force myself to do something just to check things off but I definitely wrote down that I intend to do plein air um, I want to do a lot more gouache painting. So I did gouache last year, like when I was taking classes, but then I wouldn't really do much with it on my own. I did a few gouache paintings, but nothing I was super into. I think I've maybe even only shared one gouache painting on this channel, and that was the skull. No, I think there was a second one, like for gouache tober last year. But yeah, I don't do enough with gouache, and I definitely want to do more. Um, and then I think I said before, I want to create a hundred pieces or sketches. Like it doesn't even have to be anything great, just a page in a sketchbook where I doodle something. So over the course of the year, I, I have a, in the Hobonichi, it, which is my planner, it has a page of my 100 and I'm tracking hopefully 100 pages, sketches, art pieces, whatever. Um, otherwise I did talk about my no buy already and... I, and there's a couple sketchbooks I want to finish. 
So those, I, I just know I want to spend the time and focus on those. So basically what I've done is I've created really generic goals and I'll reflect on those at the beginning of each month. And then at the beginning of each month, I will review those goals and build monthly goals based on that. So for the month of January, I want to do one plein air piece. I want to paint at least one small bird in my little sketchbook. And then I want to do four sketchbook pieces. And I think one of them is gouache. So we'll see how that goes. I don't want to overwhelm myself by forcing myself to do things in a certain way and then feel I haven't accomplished my goals by the end of the month and be too hard on myself. So I'm trying to keep them pretty generic. I'm also continuing my ink journal. So I do want to finish up the current I'm working with a bunch of different troublemaker inks right now, and I do want to continue those and finish that up this month. Um, but otherwise, I'm not counting that towards my sketchbook pages in terms of painting four pieces in the sketchbook this month. I am counting it towards the pieces I'm completing for toward that 100. So it should hopefully go by pretty quickly. We'll see. Beyond that... I feel I had like a bunch of stuff to talk about and then I kind of got tired and <laughs> suddenly realized I should probably record the audio now and I'm I'm very out of it. So, oh, okay. So I know for the next video, what I want to do is paint and wash, gouache, um, and <laughs> once again, tying everything together. So if I say it now, I, I have to do it, right? So for Christmas, well, technically not Christmas, after Christmas, um, Jackson's had a schminka sale. I think it started on Boxing Day technically and my mom caught me looking at it and she decided to buy me some gouache. So I'm very excited and I'm very touched and I'm really looking forward to those arriving. So I haven't tried schminka gouache before. I did mention that that was something I was considering for like my small palette that I'm allowing myself this year. And I didn't expect anyone to buy anything for me in terms of art supplies. So, um, yeah, she t made me pick out my paints I wanted. So I picked six colors and then white because you really do need white for gouache. And they should be arriving this week. <laughs> and I'm very excited. So I think the next video, I'll go ahead and get started early with an unboxing. And then we'll try those out. So that should be... Well, that should be exciting for me. I don't know if it'll be exciting for you, but I've been using Schmanka paints for a while, so I'm really, really excited to try their gouache out. Um, gouache is still, still generally feels outside my comfort zone, and I don't do a lot of portrait painting with it, which is probably what I'll end up doing. So I don't know how it will turn out, but it should be something different, and I'm, like I said, looking forward to it. I definitely got different colors than I use with my whole beans, so it will be in experience. Um, typically I work with just a split primary, but the, the colors they have are different than the colors Schminka had. So I couldn't really do one for one. So I picked some of my favorites. You've heard me talk about in watercolor, like basically Alizarin Crimson. It's technically Rose Matter Deep, I believe. It, or is it, it is something like that in the Schminka. And then, um, and then throw in blue and then the rest I'll just leave as a surprise for next video. So yeah, like I said, I'm very excited about trying that out and really pushing myself in gouache. The cats are being very, very loud tonight. <laughs> and wow, I've completely lost my train of thought. They're having a ball today. They're still playing with that catnip from earlier, I think. <laughs> So I, like I said, I really, I don't have too much to say on this one. Besides the colors I use for the skin, I eventually did add in some Venetian red and um, Payne's gray. And I think that's pretty much it. So this is very much a limited color palette piece. Um, I really should mix up what I'm doing. I did get challenged on Instagram to do a three colored challenge. I don't know if that's something you'd want to watch here because I don't know what I'll get and I don't know if it will be interesting or just a big muddy mess. Um, but I told that person to pick those colors for me and I don't think they've gotten back to me. So I'll have to check in on that. So that one will be fun too, because I really have been using my now comfort zone watercolors and I, I should mix it up and try some new things and work in some different combinations. So I'll have to reach out. 
maybe maybe that could be a future video too so like i said not too much else to talk about for this painting or um even really life updates i'm I don't have that much going on right now. Um, I go back to work tomorrow. I did have a nice long vacation. Unfortunately, there was some stress involved. Nothing, probably some things were overreactions, um, like stressing out my cats by traveling with them and my husband going to visit his family for a few days. So they weren't eating real well. And my older cat's a little sick. So I panicked and <laughs> probably brought her to the vet unnecessarily which then stressed her out more but they're doing really well now they're having a great time today <laughs> so I, they're definitely doing better and otherwise um like i said I, I did have my little rollerblading incident but i am trying to skate more i started skating again back in like october i think and i'm trying to keep up with that my goal is to skate maybe three times a month um that way if i skip one week it's not I'm not missing out on a goal, so a little flexibility in case I'm really busy. Um, and in this case, maybe to make sure I'm fully intact before I go again. Uh, otherwise, I am... Do I have any exciting books to share? I am reading still. I'm on to book six of The Expanse, which I've been listening to in audiobook form while I've been painting, so I was listening to that today. Um, and then in terms of other books, I have the latest Brandon Sanderson book, um, wow, Cytonic, I think it's called, <laughs> that I've been reading. And I just started The Goblin Emperor by Catherine Addison, which I've heard really good things about. And I'm not very far in, but I already really like the style of it. So I think I'm really going to enjoy that book. Um, but yeah, all of those books, since I just started them on the first, I'm very early on in, so I don't really have much to say there either. Um, I'm playing the Guardians of the Galaxy video games, so I'm trying to work in more time for video games too, since I haven't been playing them as much lately. And that one I'm enjoying as well, because it's just got a lot of, like, amusing banter. And I love, like, when characters banter in the background when you're just exploring in a video game because I spend a lot of time like looking for every little thing you can find so it just adds a little element that I really appreciate um I really like the Uncharted games for that too because the banter between like Nate and Scully were always just so good so yeah that's where I am right now starting off the new year um another thing I'm trying to cook more do new recipes add more things to my repertoire because I am the laziest cook. If I find something easy, I'll just keep remaking that and I, I need to cook more. I hate cleaning. I don't mind cooking so much as I hate cleaning. So um, it, it I like really like simple things like Instant Pot, throw things in. You only have one pot to clean up once it's done. It's perfect. So I just made this really big pot of soup stew with just a ton of different vegetables and golden potatoes and it was delicious so trying to work in some new things try out some new things if you have any recommendations for fun simple recipes um let me know i'm not a big meat eater the cat's got the zoomies but yeah Otherwise, I hope you're all doing well and having a great start to a new year. This was a very rambly video. I swear I had a much more focused topic I was going to go with. Um, but yeah, um, hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves. And clearly I don't have much to say. So I will just talk to you guys hopefully in a couple of weeks and show you some Schmincke paints, the gouache. And yeah, take care of yourselves and enjoy the little clip of the cats playing. Um, just as a recap, the really fluffy one is Juno and the other one's Maggie and that's how they react to catnip. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys again in a few weeks. I clearly have to go vacuum my floors, so bye now.